Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Today is going to be my very last decor haul before I start my decorating videos. Now, I am not decorating for fall quite yet, but I am decorating for like the end of fall. So it's just an easier transition going from what I have now to my actual fall decor. You guys already know that for fall, I tend to use like the traditional colors so yellows oranges like warmth i just love that whole scenery i shared this picture with you guys which is of my dad's ranch and that is my inspiration for my late of summer decor and i wanted to show you guys absolutely every piece that i got before i start putting out my decorating videos however there is one piece that has not gotten here and i'm a little bit sad but i'll actually end up showing it to you guys when my coffee bar decorating video goes up so make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified of when that video comes out as well as my other decorating videos so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this haul if you are new i would love it if you subscribe i do these type of videos all the time i do decorating videos lifestyle videos homemaking videos cleaning videos just a little bit of everything and i would love to have you here but let's go ahead and get started and i'm going to start by showing you guys the pieces that i didn't expect to get i'm a not much of a like thrift store shopper at all i usually just go to like hobby lobby home goods and so on but i've been so inspired by a few like vintage pieces that i've seen on other people's homes and i just wanted to give it a try and see what i found and if i can make it work in my house i tried to incorporate like vintage pieces into my decor last time if you guys haven't seen that video i'll link it up here but for my summer decor i tried to incorporate like rustic vintage pieces but they were like store-bought so they're like pieces that are made to look vintage on purpose so i gave it a try and i went to Goodwill and I found these pieces that I'm actually really excited about. I'll start by showing you guys the simple and easy ones which are these books. I thought it would be nice to use books on my TV console. Um, so yeah, I was looking for some books and I absolutely love these colors. It's such an easy way of throwing in color when you're using a lot of neutrals, which is my plan. And I so happened to find orange and yellow. And what really caught my eye about these is how beautiful the spine of the book is. It has color, it has gold, which I'm trying to incorporate gold as I told you the top of the book is like gold and then the side of it it's actually like it looks like a book so i thought i could do such amazing things with this and i'm just gonna give it a go and see what i can do but these were at goodwill for two dollars no yeah three dollars each i think and i think i might go back for one more because i think it looked look cute in like threes instead of twos but i might not I might, I might not because I really want to start decorating so I don't know if I'll have the patience to wait until I go. The next item, I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it you guys. It's actually an item that I was so surprised that I even like grabbed and liked. But it's gold and it, it's vintage. It's really vintage but it is this rocking horse right here. I think it's so beautiful it's this like rusted gold color and I think it's actually meant as a Christmas decoration because if you twist it which I am not because then it will play for a long time but if you twist it it plays a Christmas song but I just thought this would be cute and maybe I can use it somewhere around my house again kind of matching that inspiration image I showed you guys just a while ago I'm not sure we'll just have to see but worse comes to worse, I'll just use it in my Christmas decor. And the next item I'm actually planning to use for my fall decor, but it is this little copper bucket right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it looks like a witch's, um, I don't know what it's called. Like, you guys know what I mean. So I might end up using this more towards Halloween time, but I just thought it was so cute and this was only $2.99 next up and now this is the item that i'm so excited about because again i didn't even think i would get it 
but I always see people putting like cute stuff on top of their stove like noodle boards or candles or things like that and I just I wanted to do something similar so I thought maybe like if I could find a vintage kettle that would look really nice but to be honest I already have my coffee bar and I feel like I actually use my coffee bar so having a kettle on my stove just didn't make sense to me I mean it probably could have looked cute but anyways I found this pan you guys like look at how gorgeous this is it matches my shirt it matches my color theme it's this like mustard yellow and then it has like a wooden handle and a wooden topper and this is just a so freaking cute and i think it's so lightweight easy to take off and on the stove and it would i just think it would look really cute and this was only you guys it was two dollars that's all it was so i thought this was the perfect piece for on top of my stove and that is everything that I got at Goodwill. I want to visit one more vintage shop that is here in Albuquerque. The only thing is they have reduced hours because of the whole situation that our state is in. So I just haven't gotten a chance to go. But I do want to see if I can go for my fall decor. Next up, I have a, another few more pieces from Sky Shop. If you haven't seen my last haul, I mentioned Sky Shop. Her shop is House and Home. It is an online shop and she has beautiful home decor, you guys. Just beautiful. I've gotten some pieces from her already. But when she uploaded these, so this is a, a tea towel, a kitchen tea towel. And it comes in a pack with this one as well. So this one's just striped and then this one has like a flower pattern. I fell in love you guys. I absolutely fell in love and I had to have them so I went ahead and I bought them. I'll make sure to link all like the prices um, down below in like the corner of the screen for everything that I got but I absolutely love these. I think they're such good quality and I like how they're like that like drop cloth material material i want to say i just really really like them and yeah i just went ahead and i got them for myself i think they're gonna look so cute on my kitchen um hooks that i have next to my fridge and yeah if you guys are interested in checking out sky's shop i will leave her link down below as well as a link that will get you five dollars off so if you decide you guys want to check her out, I totally encourage you guys. Her things are so cute and really good quality. And that link will get you $5 off. Now, next up, I just have some few random pieces from different stores. The first one is going to be this apron right here. I really like this. I actually found this at Target. It wasn't the one that I wanted, but it works and it's very similar to the one I wanted. However, I'll put a picture of the one I wanted here. Um, it was actually out of stock and it wasn't going to be back in stock until October. So I just decided to go ahead and grab this one from Target and it was a little bit cheaper than the one I was going to get online. Um, this one was $16.99 and the one online was $24. So like seven or eight dollars cheaper and i didn't have to pay for shipping so on the bright note right on the bright side i always have to look at the bright side of things so i still really like this and i do plan on hanging this on my kitchen rods along with like these i think it's gonna be so cute and yeah that was from target and then the only item from amazon is going to be this little pillow cover I haven't even opened to be honest but you guys know that i have the farmer's market one that's very similar to this it's the same like burlap material but i went ahead and i grabbed this one this time this one just says it's so good to be home i think this is such a cute transitional quote to have out from summer going into fall i think there's nothing cozier and there's no better feeling than being home so i think that that is why i was so drawn to this quote so this was super cheap it was only like 7.99 on amazon i'll have it linked down below but yeah i'm so excited to switch out my farmer's market one for this one 
Next up is the only item I have from Walmart and it is this tray right here. Now, I know that this side has flowers, but this one does not. And this is a Casio wood, so I, I'm trying to collect cutting boards and I absolutely love the color of this wood. It's probably my favorite. I, ha I got a rolling pin from Sky Shop that is in the same wood and I just thought that this was such a pretty color of wood so I decided to just get it and then I'll just display this side instead of this side with the flowers and this was only $8 I want to say at Walmart so I thought it was a good deal and I just went ahead and I grabbed it for this side but if you're into flowers this side is cute too. Next up are some items that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm actually, I wasn't planning on getting anything, but I was checking out the clearance sale and these were too good to just like pass up because I've been wanting one of these for a, quite a while and it's not that they're super expensive, but I don't know, I just wasn't, I never was like really encouraged to buy it just because of the price and I never seemed to get it on the 50% sale. So I just kept not getting it but it is just this cutting board like cooking book holder and it is so cute again it's just a really like nice dark stained wood and it does stand it has a little stand back here and it also has the little like rope right here but this was only two dollars it was two dollars and 19 cents so i couldn't pass it up anymore i went ahead and grabbed it the original price is let me see it has a price tag back here the original price was $21.99, so not even on 50% would have I gotten it for $2. So this was such a good deal. And I went ahead and grabbed it, as well as this little corbel right here, or I don't know, owl bracket, I don't know what you want to call it. They're always around like $9 and above. And this one actually, the original price was $19.99. So even if I got it 50% off, it would have been around $5.00. No, $10, sorry, my brain ain't working. It would have been around $10, but I actually scored this one for a dollar. So this is absolutely cute. I can use it to hold up my vintage books that I just showed you. I don't know, you can use it for a lot of stuff. So I'm so excited that I found this for just a dollar. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It still has a little thing back there. It was just really reduced, so I scored it. And lastly but not least, you guys already know that I love this shop. I have shared her shop before and it is Montana Farmhouse Candles. I got some last time for my previous decorating videos and you guys, they're just absolutely amazing. The scents are so unique and they last forever. And my favorite part is you get to keep the vessel that you pick for her to pour your candle in. So let me show you guys the ones that I got. And the first one is this small little cute teacup. This one is just a glass teacup. It's so absolutely cute and dainty. This is in the peach sun tea, which is one of my favorite summer scents that she had. It really just smells like peach tea like that's exactly what it smells like and they burn for so long and again my favorite part is after the candle is burnt you get to keep a cute little vessel and yeah so that this is my first one my second one is this vintage jello mold so this one's just like a cute little vintage jello mold and i got this one in the scent porch swing which is aspen leaves a fresh cedar mint and pine and it has some hints of wood smoke and vanilla so you guys can already imagine those scents and i know that she's about to bring out her fall scents so i'm just so excited to see what those scents are but yeah this is the second candle that i got the third and the fourth one are my favorite to be completely honest but this is the third candle i got it is also a teacup it's this like orange I don't even know like orange iridescent color it's so cute matches my color theme that i'm trying to go for this time around it is huge you guys like you get so much candle in here and i got this one in farmhouse kitchen which is cinnamon citrus sugar vanilla and cedar 
and it's just such a warm but it's not a super sweet scent so i absolutely love this scent it is my favorite scent from her shop so i got this one in that scent and i also got this one in that scent and this one is my favorite one you guys look at how cute this candle is so it comes with the little plate and then the little teacup again this is in the farmhouse kitchen scent it smells so good and she has so many vessels to pick out from so i'll go ahead and make sure to leave her link down below so you guys can check her out she also currently has a coupon code going on for 15 percent off if you use the coupon code i love candles you will get 15 percent off her shop if you spend more than 50 dollars, you get free shipping otherwise her shipping is 9.99 which is super reasonable in my opinion and you guys get super cute pieces to use after your candle is burned so i'll i'm gonna recommend her forever and ever i love her shop so definitely go check her shop out go check sky shop out and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are excited to see my decorating videos coming up you guys already know my next video is going to be the first decorating video of this decorating series this time so definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button the notification bell so you are notified of when my next coming videos go up and then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it post it on your story it really helps me out i would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and until next time i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will talk to you guys soon Bye. It should have been you.